Hey, how everybody doing tonight? Um, I haven't done a truck video in a while. Um, that's what I'm taking tonight. It's got side skirts on it. I know I'm not a big fan of side skirts. Actually, if you look at that one over there, it does not have side skirts. I prefer that. Um, this, uh, you see the bumper. Somebody must have hit something. I don't know. Last night, I think, or the night before, we actually had uh, pretty good slippery roads. Um, I'm going to show you guys the dash of this Freightliner. It's not the typical, you know, standard dash. It actually has the lay-in gauges and it's a little fancier. This one has the side window, which I prefer. I actually like the side window because it opens. <laughs> um, obviously not this time of year, but... Yeah, anyways, I just figured I'd do a little bit on trucking. Um, I've noticed there's a few people that ask a couple questions about the trucking stuff. Like, ask more. Like, I, just, I love sharing this stuff. I mean, when I first started doing this, uh, everyone shared a lot with me, which I learned a lot in a short amount of time. But, yeah, I'll get into the truck here in a minute and show you some more. I get in the truck, um, I wanted to shoot this. This is a 500 horse Cummins ISX. I have not drove one of these yet. I've mostly drove Detroit. Um, kind of surprised to see this under the hood of one of our trucks considering most of the fleet is Detroit. So this will be pretty cool. Um, actually pretty excited. It sounds pretty, pretty aggressive motor. Um, fairly big motor. It goes way back in there. That's a, it's a big heavy motor. Um, so yeah. Maybe at the end of the run I'll have more on how I feel about Cummins. I used to be a Cummins man. I have since kind of gone away from them. Um, I don't know if they're going to make a comeback or not. They've had a lot of problems and Detroit's really taken over a lot of it, but we'll see. Inside of the back of this Cascadia, um, there's the windows I was talking about. This is the bed. I don't know if most people sleep and you know at night in the summer you want a cool breeze, but that makes a world of difference right there, but uh, it's on both sides. There's windows up there too, they're covered right now, it's for the, up, the bunk up here, but this is a little bit more, like a switch camera. This is a little bit more fancier than the models we usually have. Um, this has got the full gauge cluster with the chrome rings on them, bezels, and uh, it's got a mount for, this is for my ELD. I don't know if you can hear that motor. It's uh, pretty throaty. It's definitely feels like it might have a lot more power. I'll know here shortly when I take off. But yeah, I'll do some more here in a little bit. I don't really, you guys have seen enough of the back of these things, I think. There's plenty of cabinets in here. Um, actually, I know what I can do real quick. Let me change the view. So I, this is the back of it. I tried to show people, like, I'm 6'3", the roof, I mean, it's still another two feet over my hands. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how big the back of these things are. And these are tall. These are the upper cabinets. I mean, these trucks have definitely gotten a lot more comfortable than they used to be 10, 20 years ago. I just thought I'd give you a shot of that. So it's, uh, what time is it? 5.43. You can see it's still a little light out. Um, which is great. I wonder if I turn more lights on. Back. Come on. Just trying to make the picture better. Um, it's, uh, the days are getting longer around here, which is making me excited. I'm ready to do some more fishing that I, uh, open water fishing. I didn't get to do much ice fishing at all, but enough of that. Uh, I want to talk more because I've kind of steered away from a lot of my trucking videos. Um, I noticed a lot of people watch the uh, Keep Trucking app that I did. I actually don't use Keep Trucking anymore, but I still will promote whatever I can for them. It's a great app for your phones. Um, anyone that is thinking getting into the trucking field, do it. They are in huge need of drivers. There is a driver shortage in America right now. Um, there's the, there's a lot of incentives out there. Um, a lot of people see you'll get online and you'll see those five thousand dollar sign on bonuses and stuff like that and i mean that's great and all but you actually don't get that usually you have to wait six months but most of the time a year before you get it um it that regardless uh 
the pay is getting higher for a lot of this stuff because they're so desperate. I mean, uh, only thing I will say, I'm not a long haul truck driver. I don't think I could do that. I have a family, and if you have a family, I don't suggest you do it either. Now, if you're a single individual looking for a career, uh, absolutely, go for it. I mean, there's, you get to see a lot of the country. I mean, you see things you never would have got to see sitting at home. Um, there's good money to be made out there. You're probably going to have to start off on some crappy runs. Uh, that's, you know, everywhere you go, you got to bottom. But, I mean, take whatever you can get. Uh, the world has gone to electronic logging devices. A lot of drivers complain about it. They're just old school. They need to adapt. It's actually a lot easier. I mean, you shouldn't be running illegal anyways. I mean, a lot of these drivers think that they can doctor their logbooks, but you can't. You can't doctor your logbook. For all you truck drivers out there that think you're real swift and you're doctoring your logbooks, it ain't working, dude. If you get in an accident and you kill somebody, they're going to go back to toll plazas that you went through. There's cameras everywhere. They're all timed. You're not getting away with it. It ain't happening. So... It's for the best anyways. Um, there was a lot of companies out there that would push drivers to go beyond their hours of service. Um, that When you do things like that, you are you just took it into your own hands. Now you're responsible for yourself. and you know thing, Things happen fast. You know, an accident happens real quick. Next thing you know, there's cops there and there's DOT people there. And you know, you're nervous because you cheated and lied. And so yeah, I mean, my take on ELDs is it's about time. Um, it's less paperwork. It's easier. It takes care of everything for me. Uh, my dispatcher is happier. He knows where the truck is. He knows we're running late. He actually knows if a check engine light comes on. So I mean, they're just getting to the stuff faster. The world is getting more efficient. But Regardless, uh, I'll say it again. If you're thinking to get into trucking, please do it. Uh, there's lots of money out here to be made. And I'll probably do one more quick video at the end of this and let everyone know what I think of this ISX Cummins. Um, I still haven't pulled out of the door yard. I still got another 12 minutes before I need to leave to go get loaded. But um, hopefully, I'm impressed. I do miss Cummins. I really do. I was never really a cat guy. I like cat Caterpillar equipment. I just never really much for their truck motors, whatever. That everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know here on the next one. So I'm headed south. I just got loaded. Uh, hopefully you can hear me and everything on there. Definitely dark out now. Um, yeah, I am pretty impressed with this Cummings. Um, smooth. Uh, the shifting, I don't know why. It's, I don't know if this has that progressive shift in it or not. I, it's a new thing out there. I don't know. It doesn't work that great for the old school guys. It's more like for what they come out of school is trained to do or whatever but anyways yeah I just thought I'd uh, touch base and let you know that I, I am impressed with the Cummins ISX this truck you know is still it's on its higher end of miles this truck still probably got 500,000 miles left in it before it's done um, I'm trying to think what else I can say about it I can't really tell you as far as pulling up hills. I mean, I do have some good hills on this, where I'm headed, but the problem is I've only got uh, probably four things in the back, which accumulated probably weighs not even a thousand pounds. I mean, it's probably like 500 pounds of stuff back there. I could have hauled it in a pickup truck, but these are contractual runs, so contract states it will run, so this it doesn't matter if I'm hauling empty or have anything on. This goes regardless. But coming back, I probably will have a heavy load. I'll try to get some shots of some stuff in this southern facility I go to, but if not, uh, that'll probably be the end of the video for tonight. Like I said, uh, anyone else uh, think of anything they'd like to see more in these videos? Oh, by the way, anyone who is subscribed to me and follows, I did get a new computer. Um, I haven't tried any of my camera stuff yet, so we'll see how that goes. If that does, if everything works out all right... Um, uh, it's changed the length. If everything does work out all right, uh, the videos will get a lot better. But we'll see. Soon to come. You're unbelievable.